So what I wanted to do here was have a discussion about Miles Morales. And what I'm hoping is that by the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of who Miles Morales is and why Miles Morales was so important, not only for existing comic book fans, but for new comic book readers as well. So in 2000, writer Brian Michael Bendis, editor-in-chief Joe Quesada, and Marvel president Bill Jemis were looking at the idea of rebooting classic Marvel characters in order to give them a more modern approach and to make them more appealing to younger audiences at the time. Because of its popularity, Marvel first chose to launch the Ultimate Universe using Spider-Man in the hopes that by way of being the flagship Marvel character, he would be able to draw in readers who were previously on the fence about purchasing this new line of comics. In this new universe, both major and minor changes were made to the character of Peter Parker. The first was that he was written as having received his powers due to a bite from a genetically engineered spider rather than a radioactive spider. And the second was that his character worked as a webmaster for the Daily Bugle rather than a photographer. These changes combined with Bendis' skillful writing of Mary Jane Watson, Gwen Stacy, Aunt May, and Uncle Ben led Ultimate Spider-Man to become a critical success. However, by 2011, Brian Michael Bendis was looking at ways to remove Peter Parker from the role of Spider-Man and introduce a new character to take his place. In 2011, prior to the death of Peter Parker, Brian Michael Bendis and artist Sarah Pacelli created Miles Morales, and while President Barack Obama, actor Donald Glover, and Peter Parker were inspirations for the creation of Miles, Bendis and Pacelli wanted their creation to be able to stand on his own two feet, separate from any existing and popular African Americans and even Peter Parker himself. To accomplish this, Miles was created as being half African American and half Hispanic, and in continuing with the trend of creating characters using modern awareness, Miles was presented as a part of urban culture with the same struggles of most modern kids from these areas. In his initial introduction, Marvel established that Miles dealt with neighborhood crime, bullying, and the desire for others to bring him into their environment. Furthermore, while Miles gained his powers in the same form as Peter Parker in that he was bitten by a genetically engineered spider, unlike Peter Parker, Miles didn't want to become a superhero. Miles' upbringing by his father, combined with society's overall dislike of superheroes, led Miles to attempt to cast this role aside, even going as far as to not assist Peter Parker during the death of Spider-Man event, something that would actually haunt him on a personal level and even become his inspiration for undertaking the mantle of Spider-Man after Peter Parker had died. During a conversation I had had with Sal at Comic Pop, he threw out what I consider to be the best analogy of the comparison between Miles Morales and Peter Parker from the Ultimate Universe. If Uncle Ben was Peter Parker's reason for becoming Spider-Man, then Peter Parker was Miles Morales' Uncle Ben. Following the introduction of Miles Morales into the role of Spider-Man, Marvel provided readers with a comic book comparison to what was happening in the real world. The idea of Peter Parker being removed from the role of Spider-Man, even in this new universe, was something that split the core fan base directly down the middle. Traditionalists of Spider-Man history felt that Peter Parker was the one true Spider-Man, and to cast someone in his place was either a publicity stunt or bad taste. However, newer readers who were introduced to Marvel by way of the Ultimate Universe wanted something fresh and new that actually broke away from the tradition of Spider-Man mythology. These conflicting sentiments were reflected in the comics when Miles donned a variant of the Spider-Man costume following the death of Peter Parker and that some characters shunned his efforts as disrespectful to the memory of Spider-Man while others urged him to continue. However, virtually all critics of Miles Morales were silenced when Marvel created a story titled Spider-Man, where Peter Parker from the mainstream Earth-616 universe actually met Miles Morales, his Ultimate Universe counterpart. Where previously the two had never met, and with it being unknown if they ever would meet, Marvel established by way of Miles receiving Peter Parker's blessing 
that Miles was here to stay, and that even if Peter Parker in the Ultimate Universe were to return, he would not undertake the mantle of Spider-Man. Furthermore, where the series initially had skeptics, and while never selling enough issues to break the top 25 comics list, following this story, Miles Morales was extremely well received by his readers and by multiple media outlets and was considered to be a breath of fresh air in a history that was beginning to grow stale. In addition, due to the reception of Miles Morales and the desire of Marvel to shake up their varying titles and teams following the Secret Wars event, Miles Morales was officially announced to take over the role of Spider-Man from Peter Parker as part of the all-new Marvel Universe going forward. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and bring this video to an end, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.